Hey everyone, Nick Marzinski here at TrappingLight.com and in my last video I talked about spot healing and my intention with this video was to start talking about another tool called the Clone Stamp Tool, but instead I want to focus on something else. See, in the last couple of weeks I ended up setting up a new computer and moving all of my stuff from one computer over to the other computer. And that's great and I'm happy with it and this new computer that I'm running it works really, really fast, but the thing about it is that when you're using programs like Photoshop and Lightroom, you have a lot of things that you set up on these programs, things like workspaces, like um, your Lightroom catalog in Lightroom, like um, your custom brushes that you download or use or create and all that sort of stuff. And what you need to be able to do is to grab that stuff from your old computer when you're moving a computer, move it from your old computer onto your new computer. And so that's what I'm going to talk about in today's tutorial is how to do that both within Photoshop and within Lightroom. So I'm going to actually start in Photoshop. Okay, There's a lot of things when I move Photoshop from, an, from my old computer to my new computer that I wanted to keep. I wanted to keep a bunch of brushes that I that I'd put together and that I defined. I wanted to keep all of my actions. And for those of you that don't know what actions are, they're like very quick programs that will automate certain tasks so you can do them very, very quickly in Photoshop because it, it runs them automatically. Basically, it's the Photoshop's equivalent of a macro. Um, I also want to keep my workspaces because I've spent a lot of time setting those workspaces up. I'm comfortable with how they work and I want to make sure that when I get Photoshop up and running on my new computer and I'm on my new computer now, when I get it up and running, everything is, is, is laid out exactly the same uh, as it was before so I can just hit the ground running with, with editing images and that sort of thing. So here's an easy way to do it right within Photoshop. If you're using Creative, uh, Creative Cloud, Photoshop Creative Cloud or CS6 or I believe CS5, Adobe has made it actually pretty easy to export most of the kind of things that you would need to um, move the settings that you'd set up in, in your old computer version of Photoshop and, and bring those settings over to your new computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to open Photoshop and you're going to go right up here to edit and you're going to go to presets and then you're going to go to export import presets and when you click that it's going to bring up a list of your presets that you've got so you can see I've got some actions here some effects actions that I made luminosity masks my own actions uh, tidbits of awesomeness is um, a, a package of actions that a friend of mine uh, over at HDR um, uh, Everyday HDR, his name is Blake Rudis. He, he sells them there. They're really nice. Um, so take a look over on his site if you're interested. Um, and then I've got some of the brushes that I've made, um, as well as some swatches uh, and gradients that I've done. So if I want to export these, all I've got to do is select the ones that I want, or simply add all of them if I want to. If I only want to add one, or add selected ones, some perhaps let's say that I don't want to uh, export all of my um, presets. I only want to export certain certain ones. Well, I can just click on the ones that I want and click the arrow and it will add them to my list of presets that I'm going to export. However, if I want to just grab all of them, and in this case I did, I just click add all and there it goes. I, I can see that this entire list that's over here of all of the presets that I've got is able to be exported right over here. And then I just click export presets at this point, it brings up a thing. I'm going to. It brings up a box, so I have to choose where it's going to export them to. In this case, I've got this um, external hard drive right here. So I would want to export to my external hard drive. I just click OK, and the presets uh, would be exported to that. Then, when I get to my um, my new computer, so that's everything that I've done on my old computer to export my presets. When I get to my new computer, all I have to do is open up Photoshop again on the new computer. Go up to Edit go over to presets, click the same button here, export import presets, only this time instead of exporting the presets, I come over here to import, and now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to select where I'm going to import them from. So I'm going to select my import folder, in this case I'm going to come over here, select the free agent um, GoFlex, and let me see if I can remember where I put them. There we go, Photoshop presets, exported presets right there. So I click OK, and you can see all of these presets that I exported from my old computer. I want to add them all, and then I would just click Import Presets, and Photoshop will automatically take all of these presets, grab them off that hard drive, and stick them right into the folder that it's supposed to be on 
right within Photoshop. And so then if I want to use any of these, I'll have to close Photoshop down first and then reopen it because when Photoshop opens, it reloads all of your presets. So you have to close it first, then reopen it, and then you'll have access to all of your presets just the way they are. Now, that works well except for one thing, workspaces. If you look over here, you can see that workspaces aren't on here. And when I went to my export presets, you can also see that these are the presets that I've got on my computer. Workspaces aren't on here, okay? So you're going to actually have to grab your workspaces individually and bring them over. And I'll show you how to do that right now. In order to do that, you're going to actually have to go into your file, into your um, Windows Explorer. And in this case, I'm sorry, I have a Windows box, and so I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows. Mac, it works in somewhat of the same way, but the file structure is just by necessity going to be somewhat different. So you're going to have to go into your user directory. So I go into users. In my case, my name is Nick. And I'm going to have to go into this app data folder. Now, usually this folder is hidden. So if that's the case, if you go into the view menu here, there's this hidden items box. You need to check that. If you see if it's unchecked, then it's hidden. If I go over here and I check it, then it's no longer hidden. So now I can click on app data. It's in roaming. It's in Adobe. It would be in, in my case, it's Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. If you're running CS5, it would be in CS5. If you're running CS6, it would be in the uh, appropriate uh, program for that. So you'll double click on that. You go to Adobe Photoshop, in my case, Creative Cloud Settings, Workspaces. And these are where your workspaces are. It's in this workspaces, and it's also in this workspaces modified, OK? You're going to want to grab all of these, except for probably Essentials and Typography, I believe, uh, are two of them that are, that are automatically defaulted. But you're going to want to grab all the rest, copy them over to your external hard drive, bring them into your new uh, computer, and then navigate right to the spot where Photoshop is going to dump them in this Adobe Photoshop creative cloud or creative suite settings in your workspaces and then just copy them there again if you're in Photoshop when you do this you'll have to close out of Photoshop and reopen it at that point you'll be able to come in here and all of your workspaces will be right there and ready for you to use okay so that's how to deal with moving all of your stuff from Photoshop all of your actions and brushes and presets and workspaces over to your new computer from an old computer to a new computer. Now let's jump over to Lightroom. Okay, so here I am in Lightroom. Now the thing about Lightroom, for those of you that are, aren't familiar with it, is Lightroom is basically a big databasing system. So not only does it let you do editing in the develop module, but it also stores information about all of your images and all of the edits that you're doing in these images and this stored information is stored in something called a catalog okay and when you set up Lightroom the very first time you ever set it up what you have to do is you have to import pictures into this catalog and at that point you can start working with these pictures because the information about the pictures not the pictures themselves but just some information about these pictures is in your catalog so not only when you're working with Lightroom and you're moving it to a new computer, not only do you have to move all of your pictures over, and when you do that, it's very important that you keep the same file structure, the, the file structure exactly the same, because that's what the, the catalog keys off of. So not only do you have to export your pictures and move your pictures from your old computer to your new computer, but you also have to move your catalog over. Not only that, but in Lightroom itself, if you go into the develop module, you have a number of different presets. Now Lightroom comes preloaded with some of the presets. So you've got all these Lightroom black and white filters and color presets and effects in general and all that sort of stuff. But I have also got presets that I've downloaded and on one software has a bunch of uh, free presets. You can go right to their website and download them. They're excellent presets and they work within Lightroom to do all sorts of, um, all sorts of really wonderful effects. So I've also got those. Now, if I'm working on my new computer, if I go into Lightroom without moving anything over, all I'm going to have are the default Lightroom presets. So what I also want to do, in addition to moving my catalog over, is I want to move over all of these presets. And I'll show you how to do both. In order to move your catalog over, you're going to want to go up to File, and you're going to want to go to 
maybe you're going to want to go to edit. Yeah, you're going to want to go to edit. I'm sorry. Go to edit and go to catalog settings. Okay. If you're working on a Mac, I believe that the catalog settings are located in the Lightroom dropdown, but don't hold me to that. In the, on the PC, they're, they're in the edit and catalog settings. What you can see here is, is that what it's giving me is it's giving me this information saying the location of your catalog is at C users, my name, which is Nick, pictures in Lightroom. If I click show, it's going to bring me right over to that place. Okay. So if I, when I click into Lightroom, what I've got here is I've got a number of different things. Okay. There's two things here, this LR cat lock and this LR cat journal. Those are temporary files. When you close Lightroom out, those disappear. So you don't need to worry about those. What you do need to worry about is you need to worry about your Lightroom 5 catalog because that's the database of all of your stuff, okay? And that's usually a pretty big file. As you can see here when I selected it, mine is 776 megabytes. It's not a small file because it holds all of the information about your edits and all that sort of stuff. You also have your catalog previews. This you don't necessarily need to export, but I'd almost recommend it because what these previews are, are these they're, they're, they're really quick. They allow Lightroom to very quickly generate an image whenever you click on um, something in your film strip, okay? Now, if you don't export that, that's fine. That Cal, um, Lightroom will rebuild your previews. However, when it does that, it's gonna take some time. So by moving your previews over to your new computer, you're actually gonna save time. And the other thing um, that it's helpful to, to export, and this is really for Lightroom 5 only, because Lightroom 5 allowed you to start using um, smart previews. So if you're using an earlier version of Lightroom, you probably aren't going to see this catalog of, of smart previews. But if you're using Lightroom 5, you should probably you should export that so that you've got all of your smart previews. So if you're copying this over to a new computer, you would grab this, grab that, grab that, you'd copy all of them, you'd move them over to your external hard drive. Then when you came to Lightroom on your new computer and opened it up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go, it's probably going to um, tell you, you, ask you if you want to import pictures and there won't be anything in there. So that's fine. You're not going to want to import anything because you've already got your um, your catalog right there. So you've already got all of the information that Lightroom needs in that catalog. You're going to want to copy your images over. You're going to want to copy all of your pictures over and put them on your hard drive in the same spot that you did before. And then you're going to come again up to edit catalog settings, show where that is, come in here and paste the, the the catalog previews, the catalog smart previews, and your catalog in here. It may tell you, you know, this is a duplicate file. In that case, you're going to want to overwrite what's in here with what you're putting in there. Okay, once you do that, you're going to want to close out of Lightroom and then open it back up, and then you should be able to have access to your catalog. Now, there may be a few cases where you've got images with a question mark by them. And in that case, it's a broken link. In order to fix that, what you're going to want to try and do is start at the top and work your way down. As you can see, in this case, I've got my pictures stored in this All Photos um, folder. So if I had a problem with it, right-clicking on the, the folder would bring up a, a, a way for me to, if there was a broken link, a way for me to actually have my pictures and, and, and re- um, reinitialize the link within Lightroom. Start up at the top with the, the topmost folder because if you can just have one folder where you need uh, one high level folder where you can um, change where Lightroom is pointing to, then it will automatically update everything below there. So whenever you've got missing links, start up at the top and try and work your way down with that. In terms of the presets, for Lightroom, that's another thing. And unfortunately, unlike Photoshop, Lightroom doesn't have an ex export or import presets like we saw in Photoshop. In order to do that, you're going to actually have to go back into um, uh, back into where we were before and grab your presets. So let me uh, heck, let me just go into my PC, go in and grab my user data. So you're going to want to go into your user file. Go to that app data, go to roaming, and go to Adobe. You're going to find Lightroom. 
And at this point, most of the presets that you're going to have probably are develop presets, the things that you would have downloaded, those things that you use in the develop um, module. You'll click here, and you can see that Lightroom has its own Lightroom presets that, it, that, it are the, that are the default presets that come with it. But there's also all of these other presets, the downloaded ones that I talked about, the on one presets that I talked about. You're going to want to grab all of these folders here. I'm holding down the control key to copy more than one at a time. Grab all of the ones that you want, copy them over to your hard drive on your old computer. Disconnect the hard drive, bring it up to your new computer, reconnect it, and then take all of these presets again and copy them to the exact same folder. So the users, your username, app data, roaming, Adobe, Lightroom, develop presets. You'll go in there on your new computer, copy all this stuff down. Again, you'll have to quit Lightroom But when you restart it and go into the develop module, then you should see all of your presets there. So that's very, very quickly how you work with getting Lightroom and Photoshop from one computer to another so that you can both access all of your images as well as access all of your presets, access all of your workspaces, access all of the unique things that you've set up in these programs on an older computer that you now want to have access to on a newer computer. So. That's it for this. Starting next week, I'm going to go back to where I was with the tutorials talking about things like healing brushes and clone stamps and that sort of thing. But right now, since this is something that I, that I just ended up going through, I wanted to share with you exactly how to move all of your information from your old computer over to your new computer. Again, my name is Nick Marzinski with TrappingLight.com, and thanks for watching.